What's up you guys? It's me again, your Shazzy and welcome back to my video and to this channel. Yes, I'd like to welcome you all for today's another Tagalog lesson. So are you guys excited? <laughs> yes, I hope you are excited because I am super excited as well. Okay, now today we will be having the 16th Tagalog lesson. So, let's get started. So, our 16th lesson, guys, is all about the word ilan. Right. So, you heard it right. The word is ilan. Alright. So, basically, the English translation for this word is how many. Alright, so basically we need to use this word ilan if we're asking about how many the thing is. Alright, if we're asking about the quantity. Okay, but in some cases, ilan also means several, some, or few. But we commonly use ilan if we're asking about how many. Alright? So now, guys, let's have examples for the word ilan. Number one, ilan sila. All right. Now, this time, please repeat after me. Ilan sila. Very good. Now, we use this word if we're asking about the people coming or the people gathered in a special place. All right. For example, if you're having a meeting, okay, or especially if you have experience expected visitors coming into your place okay so that's why we use the word ilan okay if you're asking the number of people coming yes all right and the english translation for that is how many are they how many are they next example ilang tao okay now this time please repeat after me Ilang tao. Okay, very good. Now, ilan and ilang are just the same thing. Alright? But the only thing that makes them different is that ilang is the contracted form of ilan plus ang. Alright? Ilan plus ang ilang. Alright? They're just the same, ilang tao. Okay? Right. So, basically, we use this word if we're asking about the people, the, the quantity of people. So, in English, that means how many persons. Alright? Now, we're done with the last example for today's lesson. Alright? Ilang taon ka na? Ilang taon Kana. Okay, please repeat after me now. Ilang taon kana. Very good. So basically, that means how old are you in English? And now we're done with our lesson for today, guys. I hope you learned something. And hopefully you will apply it in your future conversation once you're here in the Philippines. Alright, now we're done with the last part of this video, the vocabulary. Alright, so our vocabulary for today is the word pitaka. The word is pitaka. Right, in English, that means wallet. Okay, wallet. Pitaka. Right, this is my pitaka. So, that's it for today, guys. I hope you really learned something. But if you have questions, you can comment down below. And yes, hopefully we can answer that. Alright, so anyway, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And please enjoy the rest of your day. And yes i'll see you on my next video but if you like this video please like 
comment down below and subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell for more updates and videos in this channel. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh <laughs>